What's up guys, uh, Tyler here again with another scrap mechanic video and um, today I uh, I went back and I made a lot of updates to the last creation and um, I'm gonna apologize right now for the audio that was in that because like everything, I, my, um, there was a lot of glitches that was happening between my computer and then scrap mechanic if something wasn't cooperating right but I assure you that now it is working good and I made sure I made double precaution that my audio will be fine but um anyways uh, let's let's jump right into this uh, so yes I uh, I'll pull up the uh, let me just get rid of that you know I'm just pooping but uh you guys remember it as as this now I made this and, and look at that the only crazy thing that's happening here is all the lights that are connected to this one switch but I went past that and I made it a lot more crazier and in depth and not all that interesting but at the same time very interesting now you can see from this that it's already insane and this is the product of me doing research and figure out how stuff works like you know how in the last video the first thing I said how do controllers work well I figured it out guys and also I have these things where they anytime that the goes forward or backwards oh that was a big jump right there um forward or backwards they move in that direction and it, it's, it's it's so the W and S keys can be programmed in anything pretty much um, but yeah uh, this is the I haven't tested this out on a flat track but yeah you see back there like it takes a couple tries but you have the backwards thrust right there and it's kind of spinning out of control right now that's the whole reason I, I made the front wheels dual, but, um, oh, I'm at the edge of the map. I'm just gonna reverse my way back. Yeah, that's another thing I added. Made it so we can all reverse. But, um, I mean, and this thing's alright on, like, fast. I, it'd be nice to have some side thrust, maybe, but, um, I think I'm ready to, you know, put this creation to the rest yeah screw that old design we're going with the new design with controllers and uh, WS control too um and then also too when I didn't when I made that I realized that I added a bunch of weight in the back but none in the front so what would happen is that it would take off and just do front flips and but now it's you know as I'm spinning doing donuts, um, it's a lot more interesting as far as like just the hover. Like it, it, it's barely it still has the. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get out and I'll show you guys the wiring for this. Now you you guys ready for the, the craziness that's about to unfold? Yeah, this is all of me just for like three hours trying to figure this out and it's not the only thing I also implement or when I first found out about this I was making a truck which I'll showcase that in like a couple minutes but mainly I just wanted to show that I did I, I, I came back to this project because I I'm not ready to I wasn't ready to give up on it yet um but yeah so it still has all the crazy lights on it and I added headlight or had added headlights in like a nose cone right here. Um, all this stuff is covered because I needed to make room for this because I needs to be able to spin around, which is, you know, anything. And then this needs to be just there. The thrust is obviously the thrust, but the interesting thing is the controller setup. Um, as you can see, I got one right there, so it can go in reverse. One to go forward. Uh, I didn't do anything with this. I thought I was going to, uh, so I can like rotate it, but um, 
I just I didn't feel like adding another controller to it and having to mess with it for it to like because it, or it's already complex as all hell right now and uh, that would just make it a lot more complex and I, I, I you know I, I love building stuff but I also love my sanity but uh anyways so I um kind of just went through it all and after like about 30 minutes of testing this is what came up and it's not you know the best but I am actually really proud of it because I'm actually doing something that not I don't think a lot of people do out of all the videos I've watched I don't see this concept really used that much in this kind of way I mean, I could be wrong, though, and, um, you know, and you guys could be, you know, screaming at me right now and being like, well, I know this one person. Well, maybe I just don't watch them. But, uh, alright, so this is, you know, the last time I'll touch this. Uh, leave down in the comment section, section, um, what you guys want me to build. And, um, I'll, I'll pick, you know, at random... But the uh, one that I think I can do, and um, I'll try making it, make it another video. But, uh, but yeah, so let me oh, let me put this away. Oh my god! <laughs> See, I've been I've been on this for like a couple hours now. I'm already losing my mind. But yeah, this is all right. So uh, before I get into the the other thing, which is the big brain truck. Which I thought, I, I honestly think it's a really cool thing, and I called it Big Brain because this is when I was testing everything, but this is the truck. But uh, before we get to that, I want to show you guys Flipsy. Now Flipsy was something I was making, like, I, it was last night out of random. But at first glance, you're like, why does it have so many wheels? Well, let me show you why it has so many wheels. It's so it glitches out, and you get the flip effect, which will hopefully come soon. Yep, there you go. And it has the anti-flip, um, so it always lands, and then eventually, yeah. So this is Flipsy, guys. Uh, these are just all the creations I've came up with in the last, oh, I've never seen it do this. I've never seen it do this. Oh, that's too funny. I was having so much fun with this. And you, you guys can see that it's very basic as far as the wiring and stuff goes. Um, I just wanted to make sure all the, the wheels had thrust, or not thrust, I'm sorry, had uh, power to it. And um, everything can turn, and this is just a mess. And I, I hooked up sensors. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, and I hooked up sensors to here because, you know, I don't want to keep pressing buttons and it, it's too fast to, or the, the anti-flip system that I made is really fast to the point where, um, it will, uh, my reaction time for it won't even catch it. So that, 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 that's just one of my joke creations that I absolutely love and if you guys want you know comment if you want me to upload these to the workshop uh, I'll happily do it um, so you guys can screw around with them I mean they're, they're not high big big brain like a lot of others but again I'm starting out and I think I think this is just too funny um, oh hydraulic effect but <laughs> All right, I, I gotta stop getting distracted here. Uh, let me just get rid of this, and then um, let me bring this out. Now, I came up with just a random thing. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a truck. All right, and I didn't plan on it to be this complex, but um, yeah. So the door opens like that. Let me get out of that. Um, and yeah, let me, 
just show you everywhere around it and the other door does the same thing and then this button is hooked to this seat so whoever gets in this has control over their door which is really cool um but yeah there so let me let me get in this seat let me close the i forgot which button here we go um let me close that so let's start off with one one is just you know headlights you know, this is probably the most basic function in this vehicle. Um, two, I have a right turn signal. Now, I mean, to me, that is like revolutionary. Um, and then I got a left turn signal too on number three. Uh, number four is the hood. You can pop the hood and see what's under. And I also installed lights and the lights activate whenever this piston gets activated, which is whenever this button gets activated. So but that's really cool. Um, and I got two engines in here, one with that much speed, but this 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 one controls the front. These ones control the two in the, or the four in the back, which is really neat. Uh, but that's it for the engine part. So let's just climb back in here. Uh, which one, yep, number four. So the last button is the door. All right, so number five is the back window. Now, if you look back there, you notice that I have that rotation device that I have on the, um, the other one, or the uh, hovercraft, because I got the idea from a YouTube video. Um, it was from a tutorial YouTube video, but I was trying to figure out how uh, logic gates work and a bunch of other stuff because I wanted brake lights, which is another thing I forgot to mention because I mentioned turn signals. Whenever I brake, I have brake lights. Now, there was a way to get reverse lights, but I lost interest. And this is another thing that occasionally happens. Um, the back wheels just bug out and just go through that. So. It's rolling, but that's fine. Just put it back on the lift and it's all good. Um, now, another thing too that I was going to uh, say is if you guys think that you guys can make this better in any way, shape, or form, um, comment down below and I'll upload this to the workshop for uh, you to grab and you guys can work on it and then, um, you know, uh, follow my social media and then message me or something when you guys create it and I'll showcase it in my next video for uh, Scrap Mechanic or by the time I'm hoping I can be able to make more uh, Scrap Mechanic videos but uh, yeah so I this is my uh, my version of the big brain truck um, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a little update about everything, but I hopefully the next scrap mechanic video will be one where I make something completely new and unique, but um, we'll have to see. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. So I will sit here and I will judge you with my gnome face. Alright, peace out guys.